Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about SQL Server Reporting Services performance. So when we take SSRS or SQL Server Reporting Services, Microsoft providing us to configure the report for business users. So one of the benefit of using SSRS is it is accepting both wizard type and as well as query type. Query type uh, in the sense T SQL scripts. If you are familiar with T SQLs, then you can write your scripts on the management studio and you can easily copy paste in the SSRS dataset. In case if you are not familiar with T SQL statements, then in dataset you can use query designer. You can easily drag and drop the fields which you want to display in a report and you can run the report. So if for example in your scenario one of the developer is not familiar with T SQL scripts and he is familiar with wizard type or query designer in SSRS then he or she can choose the rep uh, report fields in a query designer and they can get the report if that is the case sometimes they will not have a filter so when you write a T-SQL statement, if you want to filter any field, then you can have a var statement and you can easily filter that particular value. In case, if they are not filtered in this query level, so we have a filter option in dataset properties. They can go to filters and they can add here and they can choose the fields. And they can filter the data. So the difference between this type of filter and query filter is query filter is going to perform on database engine. So it is going to retrieve the data and it is going to apply the filter and it is going to give you the results to the SSRS engine. So SSRS engine will handle that data and it will display into the report. So if you see that there are two engines involved here. SQL Server Engine is going to perform almost all the tasks like retrieving the data and filtering the data and if you have any order by or group by it, it is going to perform all the operations in the database level itself. So it means we are putting the load to the database. So in a SSRS engine we are just retrieving the data only selected fields and it is showing as a report. So load to the SSRS engine is very less compared to the load to the SQL engine. Whereas if you use this filter, it is going to retrieve all the data to the SSRS engine from SQL engine to SSRS engine. And it is going to perform the filter in SSRS engine. So it means we are giving some load to the SSRS engine to perform this filter task. Alright, so by comparing these two scenarios, you can understand where is the load. In first case, load was there in database level. In second case, load is there in SSRS level, SSRS report level. So it means if you see the comparison, if you see the performance, first one is performance wise good because all the load are, loads are taken care by database engine itself. So SSR is just going to simply render the report with the selected fields. Whereas the performance of the second case is bit low because it is doing an additional operation of filtering the data. So this won't be much performance booster but if you take a table with more than 1 million rows and if you perform this kind of thing like uh, filter in a database level and filter in a SSRS dataset level and you can see the major difference on the performance wise alright so try to avoid this filter in dataset level and try to use in query level and you can ask me a question like then what is the purpose of having filters in dataset level so consider a scenario you have a stored procedure and you have only read access to the stored procedure so you can run that stored procedure and you can see the results in that result 
based on the business requirement you want to filter some data so you can't alter the stored procedure to filter the data or even you don't have any access to create a additional stored procedure with additional filter condition so you don't have any permission for creating or modifying right you just have only read access if that is the case you can go to query and you can choose a stored procedure and you can pass that stored procedure and you can go to filters and you can filter the data here itself right so for that kind of purpose we have to use filters because we don't have option to filter the data in a query level so only use these filters on rare case if you are not able to perform the filter on query level so this is going to be one of the performance booster so if you are looking for the performance uh, booster in ssrs just look for these things and make sure there is no filters in the data set level and make sure all the filters in query level thank you